Okay, Assalamualaikum again. Uh, this uh, is me and uh, good morning to uh, the rest. Uh, let's look at, or not good morning, this is good afternoon. Let us look at this uh, question which I'm going to do, which is question MFRS 138. And this is uh, the one from May 2022 common test. And this is question 1C. Question 1C is on research and development. So you have this company, New Bricks, that involve in bricks uh, manufacturing and they actively conduct research and development. They completed the R&D and introduced what they call New Brick 10 times 10 product. So let's look at the information on R&D here. You have the R&D activity started on 1st of January 2020, completed on 30th September 2020. So that was just nine month period, not even a year. So uh, the management was only confident that development activities would be a success starting from 1st May. So let us look at what we have here. I draw a timeline for you. So this is 1st of January 2020. And this is where you start the R&D research and development project. And you are informed that uh, the... Um, it will end somewhere here, the 30th of September 20. So completed. This is where it completed. Right. The management was confident that the development activities would be a success. A success. Starting 1st May 2020. So meaning to say that in between 1st of January 2020 until 1st of May 2020, this period is where the, uh, the capitalization criteria is not yet met. So here you can say that capitalization criteria not met. And therefore, whatever research or development expenses incurred here will be expense. Off. So we have to see how much is that. You are informed the commercial production will would be would commence on first of October. So you will start producing here. So this is also where you will start to have your amortization starting this period onward after thirtieth of September. You are informed the company incurred five hundred thousand R and D costs, where thirty percent of the cost is attributable to research activity so throughout this period here the whole period you have five hundred thousand that was allocated and if, however out of that five hundred thousand thirty percent is on research thirty percent from five hundred thousand which is one hundred and fifty thousand so that one hundred and fifty thousand uh, is going to be expense off because this is research costs, research costs. And this is until 1st of uh, May 2020. Why I said 1st of May 2020? Because the company is only confident after 1st of May. The company incurred 30% for that, which means that you have here 500 minus 150. And the amount here is how much? That is the remaining here is uh, 350,000. 350,000 as compared to the one allocated 500,000. You are informed that the company also has in that figure 350,000. So you assume this one is development phase. The first one here is research phase. And this is the research cost. This one is research cost. Research cost. 150. And this is development cost. 350. And you are informed in the development cost, there was also some... Uh, cost included for the brick expert salaries. This is no problem. No problem, but the problem is with the 30,000, which is for staff training. 
So in this 350,000, it includes the staff training. So what you need to do is you need to go and remove the staff training. So remove that 30K. So it becomes 320,000. And this one is being expense off. However, this 320,000 incurred during development phase, and this is what you will call development expenditure. This is development cost or development expenditure that you have to capitalize. Why capitalize? You have been informed that the company, uh, where was it here? the activities would be a success starting from 1st of May, which means that the capitalization criteria is, is met. So here, you are going to capitalize. Why? You can say that the future economic benefit is, is probable. Here, you expense off. The reason is because also future economic benefit is not Probable. So capitalized due to this reason, uh, this reason here, development activities would be a success. The keyword is success there. So that 320,000. So that 40,000 uh, that you have at the bottom. Okay, do you have anything else? Okay, so this 320,000, you will amortize later here. So amortization will start here somewhere here and when you amortize that would be for year ended 2021 so if you read here uh, this is for the following year 31st December 2021 so basically however the year end of the company when is it year end if you read the question year end is 31st December 2020 the first year end so here is 31st of December 2020 here 2020 sorry about that it's a little mess here and there. Let me just erase this. Okay. So this is 30th September 20. And this is 31st, 31st December 20. Do you notice or not this period here? It has completed. When it, it is completed, I have mentioned earlier, amortization will, you need to start amortize, amortization. So this period here, how long is it? Three months, right? First of October until 31st of December. So that three months, you need to charge amortization for that year. So amortization will be charged for three months. The reason is because the company... Uh, here, how, where was it? Amortization. So it was amortized. So it was amortized in that year. Amortization. And therefore, you need to show that in 2020 and also in 2021. So let's look at what is required. Uh, you, ha you have the company using the revaluation model. Revaluation model here. Uh, we have to check if there is any... Uh, uh, revaluation, yes, there is a revaluation here. So this is revaluation. And that was the fair value. So that one will be done later. So let us just do what is required. Discuss the accounting treatment for that two years. So you need to discuss what has, has to be done with this 150, what has to be done with this 320, what to be done with the amortization in the first year. Yeah, you also need to talk about what to be done with the uh, training for the staff. Yeah, training for the staff. You need to mention that should be expense off. You need to mention that 320,000 are being capitalized. In the second year, you need to talk about revaluation and also about amortization. Okay, let's see what you have. But before that, you have to do the journal entry. Let's look at the journal entry. We put side by side. Hang on there.
you are uh, watching from your from your laptop right you're not using your phone yeah if you use your phone it will be rather small okay let's look at this explanation here right so the first one the accounting treatment for the year ended 31st of december 2020 so i'm putting what i've drawn here so that you can use it so the cost incurred for the year ended 31st of december we talk about the research phase research phase this one research phase so you have to mention that the research phase how much 150 we have calculated should be expense off. So it should be expense off. How much? What is the cost incurred for the research phase? Give the reason why. So future economic benefit is not probable. Good planning will give you good answer. Bad planning will lead to uh, maybe answer which may give, give you less marks. You still get marks, but maybe not that much. Next, the second part is development cost that is capitalized. We are talking about this uh, 320,000, uh, 320,000. You mentioned about this 320,000. You have to you have to show that uh, it should be recognized as intangible asset. What was the initial cost? 320. Show the deduction of 500,000, like what I did here, minus 150 minus 30. So you show that 320 as the management were confident. You can use the sentence here. It was a success that the activities would be a success, indicating that the capitalization criteria is met. The development cost is completed on 30th September and will be amortized at 40,000. Why 40,000 amortization? It will has to be 320,000. The development cost. Divided by the estimated useful life, eight years. So you have this 40,000 for a finite useful life of eight years. So you have to show the calculation. So as at 31st December 2020, and remember the company is using yearly basis. So even though for three months, you still charge the amortization for full year. Even though for three months, you charge full year since the company uh, use uh, the basis here, yearly basis, right? 31st December 2020, amortization was 40,000. It, it, it uh, mentioned about the accounting treatment of the amortization, that it was a return of the sopple. And then mentioned about the carrying amount. So carrying amount is cost minus accumulated amortization. So the carrying amount cost is... 320 accumulated amortization is 40 40 and you have 280 so this is the carrying amount the following year then the following year you need to talk about the uh the revaluation so as at 31st december you need to mention again the uh revaluation happened when 31st of december so before revaluation, you provide amortization of 40,000. So the same calculation, 40,000. And carrying value before the um, revaluation was just now, I've already calculated, it was 280, but you need to go and do again in 2021. So you will do again another amortization, 40, and therefore you have 240. So this is the carrying amount on 31st of December 21. You will compare with the fair value. And the fair value you can check here was 300,000. You compare with 300,000. So that will give you a surplus. So you will have to uh, compare with the fair value. Write what you have calculated, you must explain, of 300,000, resulting in a surplus of revaluation of 60,000. And then explain the accounting treatment for the surplus that it was credited to the ARR. Remember, this is initial revaluation surplus. And it must also be disclosed in the other comprehensive income in the... Where is it? It is in SOPL. And then you have to mention about the accumulated amortization that was being eliminated. I'm talking about this. This 
and this. This two must be eliminated. Eliminate, eliminate. Right. Why? The company revalue the asset. So you must eliminate. Same goes if they de-recognize the asset. So the new carrying amount will be the revalued amount, which is the fair value. Okay, that was the case. Finish with that. I will extend this. We have a, the last one. And this one would be the journal entries. The journal entries for 2020 is here. So research expenses, development expenses, development costs, and the training expenses. But this development cost is not being uh, expense of this goes to the soft fee. Uh, the one that you expense of is the training. Training. Okay, you, you expense off. Then the amortization for the first year. This is the amortization for the second year because it was uh, revalued at the end of the year. We just put this in a uh, different format. The out. Right, this is the amortization, and here is the uh, surplus. This is the revaluation surplus of sixty thousand. So that was the journal entry for the second year. So repeat the same thing for the amortization, but eliminate when it comes to revaluation. Okay, that's it for this question. So make sure research expense are in the sopel. So always put the expenses first. Okay. Right. Okay. Then with that, uh, mortization is also in the SOPL. So try and go back and do the extract of financial statement so that you can see a better picture. I will stop here. Thank you for your attention. See you when I will see you.